Lighting and heavy rain has killed at least 55 people across Pakistan in the past three days. Most of the victims were farmers. Authorities in the country's southwest have declared a state of emergency. More rain expected this week. Several were killed in southwestern Balochistan province over the weekend. 21 died in northwestern Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province bordering Afghanistan. Rain also lashed the capital Islamabad in flooded streets in Peshawar and Quetta. <laughs> At the moment, the situation in the village is such that there is no ration, no medicines, and we can't even go to the nearest hospital. The road has vanished. We can only help ourselves on foot. Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif has ordered authorities to provide aid in regions hit by rain. He said Pakistan's water reservoirs would improve because of the rain, while expressing concern over the deaths and the damage. And for more on this, our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik has sent us this report from Islamabad. Listen to this. Well, at least 55 people across Pakistan have been killed in the past uh, four days due to torrential rains and lightning strikes. Now, these rains have mostly inundated parts of uh, uh, the southwest of the country, particularly the Balochistan province and also parts of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, where also uh, there have been alerts raised by the Pakistan's Met Department that the rains can result into uh, flooding as well. Flash flooding has also uh, been witnessed in parts of Balochistan and this fresh rain spell uh, is expected to last up until the 21st of April. Now, the authorities have declared a state of emergency in particular districts of the Balochistan province and particular districts of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. They say that they are ready to uh, counter any and to a situation that might arise but at this point of time the only thing that they cannot counter is the effects or rather the direct effects of climate change on the country. Anas Malik, Islamabad, Pakistan for Vion, World is One. For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.